true life and music history. The Ants Human Stars podcast with your hosts, Caleb and Digo. Are you ready? Steady. Go. So somebody gets sentenced for life, but it's actually 25 years Mm -hmm. or life and they get they get parole in 15 years. And they and if they've done good behavior, they can get out in 15 years, even though they killed somebody, Mm -hmm. but they were behaved in jail (laughs) and then they're out. Mm -hmm. And all of this is to kind of help the population control into jail, right? Because there's so many people going. So you're going to let. A murderer go free because you're trying to control, you know, whatever it was, selling drugs, taking drugs, all those people that weren't criminal. It was just possession or distribution who were mostly black. You're just going to let them rot in jail. A lot of that you have to look at ethnicity. Yeah. um, And the laws were set up that way to target black men and black women. The whole war on drugs in the 80s. Everybody was fine with that. And now that all the white people are hooked on opioids, like, oh, we feel so bad for them. And there's TV specials. And like, we just really got to do something about all these white people overdosing and killing themselves on drugs. White people produced the most drugs and sold them to more people per capita than any other drug producing anything ever that has existed on this planet. White people producing (laughs) opioids to them white people but a mexican crossing the border with a exactly. few kilos of weed yeah. is is like the horror yeah. story yeah. for a white person exactly. they're like That's what I'm saying. that is yeah. like the worst when thing that can it, happen yeah. <laughs> but hey you know what happened yesterday what happened yesterday? virginia became Ooh. Imp- totally blue yes to- totally blue we got no i totally wish that was switched because red's my favorite color but anyways yes yeah Woo. Um, <laughs> it is that way in Canada, by the way. I was, uh-huh. I was, I was having, I was telling this with my coworkers, and one of them is in, from Canada, I know, and she was like, like, "Wait, how's blue for you?" And we're like, <laughs> "Yeah, blue's Democrat." I was like, "Oh, it's the reverse. Their oh. red is liberal, and blue is See, conservative." They got it right over there. They also, uh, the Republicans took my favorite animal. They got the elephant. I'm like, "Ugh, we got a donkey." Yeah, why do we get a fucking donkey? And why did they get the elephant? It's like just so majestic. The shit. Like, yeah. I want a whole nother animal. Get I them, want a like, Pokemon. Like, who gives a shit? They're just made up shit. Like, can we get just... a Charizard? Yeah. Um, anyway, so Virginia became totally blue. Mm-hmm. And you spoke about uh, cannabis. I don't want to go to jail for having weed in Virginia. I don't. That's stupid. Which, again, I, I, we've already gotten into the conversation. I'm not going to get into it. But we're not okay with weed, but we're totally okay with alcohol. Mm-hmm. And people driving around drunk. I can talk about this all day. Let's like, do it. it <laughs> <laughs> it bought like uh like it it who was i talking to just the other day i think i was watching a show but i was also talking to someone in the show yeah it's like a single mom she comes home and she has her glass of wine um and then somebody was telling me how their grandma would give them like a sip of beer mm. when they were like kids and again it's like people are so warped in their mindset because we've now we've made it like alcohol is a family thing and Mm. just like everybody does it Mm. you look at the consequences Mm -hmm. from drinking compared to the consequences from doing weed and they're not even on the same level like it's it's you can't even compare the two in my opinion not at all Um, what will kill you seriously if you sat here and drank not yeah not to mention talking about alcohol poisoning and all the Things you could just die happen. if you kept yeah. doing that drug. Yeah. Right here, I could die tonight. It's detrimental to, like, your liver. Drunk driving, alcoholism, and the lasting effects of alcohol, all of that in a year, how many people die in the United States, it's huge. Those yeah. numbers are huge. And also, a lot of people want to say that weed, marijuana, cannabis, is the gateway drug. And I'm like, do you drink? Well, exactly. Oh, yeah, of course. And I'm like, that is... The worst drug yeah. that is available because it is legal and available and, and, so available. and here yeah. for you. Yeah. And it can kill you. It could rob you of your hopes and dreams. It can lead you to jail. It could do all of these things. Um, in the matter of, and, and not, not to mention, in the matter of like a moment. Mm-hmm. Like this isn't something that like, mm-hmm. oh, over the course of months. Like, no, in a night, your yeah. life can completely change. <laughs> the truth, the truth, the truth is that 
you get your gateway drug when you're maybe four or even less. There's baby aspirin. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Your gateway drug is just drug. The first drug that you do is the first drug you take, and it will lead to other drugs, whatever it is. So if you have a slightly addictive uh, chemical personality yeah. and you start taking painkillers, yeah. you will get addicted and you might go down that path. Mm -hmm. So the gateway drug is just drugs in general. And when you're <laughs> off in college or even sooner or whatever, you're going to try alcohol. Everyone does because that's the society we're in and it's high pressure. And when you're like... 14, 15, 16, 17, you are pressured beyond belief by your friends and everybody and society and the and and at the same time you're being pressured not to and you're in this schism in your mind, you're like trying to and you're doing it undercover and all this stuff, but eventually you will do it. And this is the start of your advanced level of drug taking because you will either stay there or you will continue to upper echelons of drugs. I can take a bunch of Tylenol and die. I can take a bunch of alcohol and die. I can yeah. take a bunch of ecstasy and die. But the weed won't kill me. Yeah, yeah. So what the fuck, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Again, it bothers me more so just because I don't think at all people take the time to think how this is so, like, ingrained. Christmas eggnog. Yeah. Right? <laughs> exactly. It's fucking intertwined yeah, into holidays. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. It's like... It's so ingrained. It's just like a oh, everybody does New it. Year but champagne. Then, but then, like you said, it's also this kind of like do it because everybody does it. But like, be careful. You know, don't don't do it and drive. Like what? Like no, it's either one or the other. Let's be let's let's be real for a minute. If I had all the power, I would eliminate it entirely from this earth. You'd get over it. Seriously. Trust you get over it. That leads to the other conversation that we had last time of which I, you you gave me the great response to. When people always ask me, like, oh, well, why don't you drink? Like, I'm just going to say, well, why do you drink? Because then we're getting to the underlining thing of, like, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, like, 80 to 85 percent of people are drinking to avoid something. And it might not be some extreme, oh, depression, but it's, oh, this is how I cope with dealing with crowds. This is how you think it for something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. It's not like all the ending. Uh, 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 it's not like I have this terrible anxiety or anything. It's just be like, I've got nothing to do. Mm -hmm. so i'm gonna do this because if i do this then i've done something what you do this weekend I'm oh you know i went out and drank with my friends yeah. oh cool exactly awesome exactly. exactly essentially you should just say oh yeah i ate <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> i invited friends over and we ate yes we okay. sat around we yeah. talked we breathed air exactly <laughs> right <laughs> we inhaled h2o all that so um again now that um Virginia has swept, 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 turn blue. I I hope that this is one of the things that they will um, concentrate on again, not just so I can not get thrown in jail, but mm -hmm. so that everyone else, mm -hmm. but most importantly, black people, because in Virginia, you're up in Northern Virginia, for those that haven't been in Virginia, uh, like for those on the West Coast, when they look at east coast they don't see it like we do it just yeah, like we yeah. didn't, i didn't see the west coast as i as i know it now until i went there mm -hmm. and uh they'll just like virginia's the south okay virginia's the fucking south aside from northern virginia it is the south you got yeah. that sliver of northern virginia that yeah. is right next to dc yeah. and you leave this little protective bubble yeah. and i'm not talking about like that far you get yeah. in the car and pass 30 40 minutes and you're out of yeah. the little zone yeah. and there's a huge difference between caught being caught with a joint up mm -hmm. here in northern virginia than central virginia or god forbid southwest virginia yeah. that is not even yeah that's not even part of what i know of virginia southwest heading towards tennessee you might as well be another part of the world pretty much yeah that's not even and that would be huge because those people who live down there would benefit from this more relaxed state of, yeah. I can just have weed and smoke it in my house, smoke it in a private location, because 
uh, still right now, even if you're at home and a cop walks in and finds you're going to jail, they're arresting you right there. Yeah. At your home. I'm not. Di- well, I've already said all the things like how weed isn't going to kill you, how weed is is even. I, we're not, we didn't get into this, but how weed can even be beneficial for you. Yeah, okay, all yeah. that aside, mm-hmm. I'm not smoking. If I'm not smoking weed out in public space, Why I'm it? definitely yeah. not affecting anybody. How is it going to be offensive to? Mm-hmm. To, to, to society if I'm yeah. just doing it in my own space. Anyway, so um, decriminalization will be a step towards that. And then eventually, oh my God, I can see it now. <laughs> it's Christmas 2032. <laughs> <laughs> I've right. got my like edible cookies. <laughs> my mom's like, you got those again? Ah. Yeah. I'm my mom. Is legal. Is legal. <laughs> Seriously, um, I if it, if it were my wish, alcohol would be gone from existence mm-hmm. and replaced with outright legalization of weed. Anywhere you can smoke a cigarette, you can smoke weed. That's all I want. Anywho, should I get off my soapbox? <laughs> Do you know a soapbox actually originates from people getting on top of a soapbox? Oh, and then like in a public square. Somebody would get a soapbox and stand on it. Do they even have soapboxes anymore? Like, I so we just got to go get a big. We got to go get like five packs we need to of go to Costco. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just put them together and stand on them. Idea for the live show. We need to have soapboxes. Yes. Okay. Write that down. So, in your somebody book. Um, contact us to remind us when we're going to do our <laughs> exactly. live show soapboxes exactly um by episode 462 right right in your favorite brand of soaps <laughs> and, <laughs> and maybe we'll get a pack thanks for listening to the ants human stars podcast with caleb and digo stay connected and get updates about new episodes by visiting our website antshumanstars.com and by subscribing wherever you listen to podcasts If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave us a positive rating and review and share about us with your community on social media. Thanks, y'all. We really appreciate it.